the songs would be like um, starting from the middle <laughs> because he couldn't press record in time but I loved these mixtapes um, I've had this um, radio player or like the cassette player and I would listen to it all the time and of course I wanted to understand songs but I couldn't um, because my native language is Czech by the way so um, and oh just a side note I never 
never lived in any English speaking country for a long period of time, so I learned it basically by myself. Anyways, let's go back to the story. And when I was 10, um, I started taking classes in a school. starting from the age of 10. I think now it's it's different. I think it's learn English from the age of 9 or 8. But of course, you can take um, like bonus classes even when you're younger. Um, not in school, but for like, I don't know, this like, this club for kids where you can take these classes. I started at the age of 10 and I remember that I've had these two textbooks um, that had robots on the cover and I loved these textbooks and I genuinely liked learning English and so I would always like read ahead and I would skip to the end and I would try to understand what does the textbook say and of course I couldn't um, but I was quite good at it too and I was learning vocabulary quite easily but I also put the effort in it so I don't know this is like probably a mixture of me being good at languages but just not even that but being good at finding the time and effort to put into it you know and i think when i was 11 or 12 i really liked the tv show thomas the engine if you know you know and i would watch it in check of course on on YouTube in English and for some reason I could understand I would say like 60-70% of it because kids shows have like light subjects you know um, and they talk in in an easy way for kids to understand which was perfect for me for learning
same time I would sing these songs that were on the show or that you know, Selena Gomez or Miley Cyrus recorded and I would use lyric videos on YouTube and this taught me not only spelling but pronunciation of course there were times when I absolutely had no idea how to a word because English is kind of difficult when it comes to spelling and the pronunciation it's kind of all over the place it's very different from Czech which you read exactly how you write and if I could if I didn't understand a word I could just easily look it up on Google and see the translation so I think that helped me tremendously and then when I was 14 or 15 I remember that One Direction debuted it <laughs> and I became a huge fan and so I would sing along to their songs and then uh, I think when I was 15 a little mix debuted it both of them um, bo both of these groups came from the X Factor the British one so they were kind of all over the news in Europe and I would always listen to their songs and guys, I even bought their albums, the physical copies but um, actually very recently Little Mix had their last concert and I bought the ticket for the live stream and I thought that I'm not going to cry but I ended up just crying because their songs helped me so much when I was younger. I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's it's true. Like up until I was eighteen, their songs just just spoke to me and and healed me in a way. Especially their song "Little Me" by Little Mix, where they talk about um like advice they would give to their younger self and I think I'm a little younger than they are and so um, I really took the advice from the song but also Good Enough by Little Mix love the song what else? there were so many that I loved guys so many had a huge impact on my life and because I was so obsessed with them I would always watch interviews with them on YouTube that didn't have subtitles of course and I think I understood like 95% of what they were saying of course um, the accent was different compared to the American accent but I could understand it pretty well I kind of grew up with British English because that's what I learned in school but I watched a lot of American media at the same time and when I was 16 I went to London for a language course that was only a couple of weeks but it helped me so much um, because at that time I could already probably talk fluently but I was so scared of talking because I thought that I'm gonna make mistakes and you know all that but that course helped me so much with my confidence and I remember I took a placement test at the very beginning of the course and I was placed in the highest class there was the most advanced so clearly I, I knew I knew stuff right but I was just too shy to talk in English you know and then um, I took a class in my school with a native English speaker and it was very different compared to the regular regular classes 
classes because in regular classes we only learned grammar and vocabulary but we didn't speak much but in this class with a native speaker which um, was voluntary by the way it wasn't mandatory we just talked about whatever without any structure and that also helped me a lot because I feel like sometimes they teach you in school very structured speaking and very textbook like but of course when you're talking to a native speaker it's totally different right and at the same time I watched a lot of YouTube a lot of English YouTube and at that point I could understand like 99.9% of what there was a car of what the person was saying so yeah that's the story and I want to make something clear okay <laughs> um, I'm not faking my accent okay um, the, the commenter also said or they were curious how I've learned English because I don't have a Czech accent and it's mainly because I watched a lot of American media and I picked up the accent from there and of course in school the teachers would talk with a Czech accent but um, I took English for like two hours a week in school and then I would spend endless hours on YouTube or watching TV shows or singing English songs and so of course I was I was influenced by the American accent although I must say because I learned like um, British grammar and British spelling I do have British spelling and so when I'm writing subtitles for YouTube I always have to correct myself and the browser corrects me by itself so that's nice but yeah um, and sometimes I pronounce certain words in a very like British way but there are so many accents in the UK so like the standard London accent I mean but only a few words <laughs> I pronounce like that and of course I don't, I don't have a typical American accent either I just have Kayla accent <laughs> it's like a mixture of, of everything you know and I pick up accents very very easily and that's another thing if today I would stop watching all American YouTubers, all American media, and only watch, for example, Australian media within a month, you could start noticing that my accent is changing. And I'm not faking it, guys. I'm really not faking it. It just... It just happens. I don't know. I can't control it. I guess my brain is almost like a sponge when it comes to the accents um, and languages in general but it's tough with other languages because you know I'm learning Korean and I know how to say the word but my tongue is just not cooperating and it's the most frustrating thing in the world but of course that takes practice right because the sounds are different in each language and you know I don't have to explain that probably but yeah um, that being said having my native um, language be Czech which has tons and tons of different sounds it helps quite a lot because a lot of the sounds for example in Spanish 
are very similar to Czech, not the grammar, of course, but just the sounds. Same in Korean and other languages. Um, so I guess it's easier for me than for a native English speaker to replicate certain words. But still, it's, it's not easy at all. So, um, what else can I talk about? Um, I'm actually going to film a video for my booktube channel right after this, hence why I'm in front of the bookshelf already, but at least you have like a different, a different perspective. Usually I only film with my camera that's like over there. And you see the front part. Oh, and I wanted to talk about this. I want to do an unhaul of my books, which means that I want to get rid of my books. And I've been planning it for two years now. Two years. And I still didn't <laughs> bring myself to do it. Oh, there's a fly here. as well. And I don't know, I just realized I've been weirdly leading to the side. I hope you don't mind. Gosh, I don't know why I did that. This is what happens when I don't have the mic in front of me. I just, I go places. Uh, anyways. And um, even if I didn't enjoy a book, it's tough for me to get rid of it. I never gave away my books to anyone. Um, I only store, store them somewhere else and it's bad. So I know that I need to get rid of some of my books, but um, I just can't bring myself to do it. Gosh. And I'm planning on, read, on, on doing a video titled Reading Books that I forgot about that are on my shelf because I do have a lot of books that I forgot about on my booktube channel, not on my ASMR channel. And after that, hopefully, I'm going to do the unhaul, but no promises. And in the month of June, I think I'm going to do a video for my patrons or my members where we would go online shopping for books. And I know I've said that I'm not going to buy any more books, but just ignore that, okay? Like, <laughs> gosh, it's, it's, it's a problem, okay? But now I'm justifying it with saying that um, I have a channel about books, so I need to have a lot of books, but I need to stop. Am I going to stop, though? No. Um, oh, let me know if you like this mic and the mic brushing. I did a mic test before I filmed this video because I knew that without it, it might just sound terrible and I, I needed to know how strong I can, you know, do the mic brushing because naturally I want to go like rah and, you know, just really, um, really go crazy, but I can do that. Oh, one last thing. I bought a pop filter for my Blue Yeti, and if you're a patron, you've seen it already, but it was too small, so I cut it in half, but it looks ridiculous, and I want to buy a regular, a bigger pop filter, the foam one. And I can't find it anywhere, only on Amazon, which the shipping in the Czech Republic with Amazon is a pain in the butt. It really is, which is why um, if you see me even buying books, I don't use Amazon. I don't use like book depository, anything like that, because it's a pain in the butt. Um, and I can only order it from Amazon.
Amazon or from China, which is also a pain in the butt. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I really need a pop filter, I think, because I'm sick and tired of editing the pop sounds constantly in my videos. When I say like p or p or when I laugh, it overpowers the mic. I really want a pop filter, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll just order it from Amazon. I don't know. There is a German Amazon that at least has better delivery, but it's still a pain in the butt. I remember I ordered some textbooks from German Amazon before, um, years ago though. And it was a mess, like I had no idea where my package was. And then the driver was calling me and I remember I was in the middle of a lecture, so I couldn't pick it up. I was calling back and um, then like, I remember when they finally delivered the package to me the next day when I was at home, because I didn't have classes, there was like a sticky note on it saying, doesn't pick up phones. Excuse you. Like, seriously, come on. Not everyone can pick up calls, you know, like, just like that. So, I'm still salty about that, and I don't want to use German Amazon, so I might just order it from China. Because <laughs> that was offending. Why doesn't Blue Yeti make an official foam pop filter? Tell me why they only make like the stupid pop filter that is only used in like studios, which would look absolutely ridiculous in my ASMR videos. So why don't they make foam filter? Because I don't think there's an official one, or at least I couldn't find it. I was looking for it for like an hour yesterday couldn't find it. So annoying. <laughs> okay, enough of me ranting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video and I automatically go side to side but there's no point for me to do that. <laughs> cycle. I don't know exactly how this mic is set.